Today, I'm going to teach you how to build a BOSS gateway in under five minutes. And what BOSS is, is the blockchain operating system, this concept of storing front end code directly on the blockchain, the different gateways, different front ends can render. And they have different gateways with different dependencies and different VMs. Um, in this case, we're forking alpha.near.org or the near discovery gateway, which essentially allows us to easily run near front end code, but we can add dependencies to the VM later where we can later add Solana, WebGL, make it you know an application specific gateway, uh, make it a vertical specific gateway for like NFTs or DeFi, make it multi-chain. We can really do whatever we want, uh, but the concept of the operating system is storing that front end code on the blockchain. And so, there is just launched the tutorial or a little uh, instruction set. And here's an example of different boss viewers. This is a component on alpha.near.org on your social. Any gateway can index this component uh, where it shows the different gateways um, here. And you can look at the code. And this is the source code. Um, some of y'all might recognize it if you guys are familiar with React or JSX or JavaScript. And so Ilya, the co-founder of Veneer, recently launched an instruction set on how to clone, set up on Vercel, um, the build configuration and the output folder. Luis from Mintbase, he's DevRel at Mintbase. He recently made a component which allows you to do all of this in just one button. So if you click deploy, you're gonna see, you can name a private repository and let's just do it DevBoss4. You can create, it's gonna to start to configure. And here is the example of the Ethereum gateway, just so you have an example of what you can add to. You see they added MetaMask and there's also Ethers JS built in. So you can directly run um, Ethereum code in the IDE and you can view the source here where the Ether provider is, is there. Uh, but in the meantime, what I wanna do is run a gateway for the developer governance gigs board. So if you know what dev gigs is, let's go to, and this is the Canto swap one or the, the Canto blockchain gateway. But this is a near developer governance. And uh, what this is, is where all the funding takes place for near developer DAO and for public goods on near. And right now you have to go to the widget on near social or alpha.near.org. And it's just kind of a hard place for discovery. So what I want to do is I want to deploy my own gateway, which I'm in the process of doing right now, but set this as the home page. And I'm going to go to the near discovery repo. Here, if you scroll to the bottom, you can see the VM that you can link to. This is how you add things like, you know, Solana wallet adapter, Solana JS, if you want to build a Solana specific gateway. Uh, but we're not going to do that all right now. We're not even going to whip out our local host. We're not going to run this locally. We're not going to whip out an IDE. We're going to do it directly on GitHub. And so if you go to source and then you go to data, there is a widgets.js folder. And there is basically, if you look on alpha.near.org, Everything except this nav bar, which you can customize in the gateway, is a component. So this right here is the activity component. If you go to discover, you can see the activity page. You can view the details. This is the source code. These are other widgets that have been composed and referenced, just like React components. You can see it here. We're going to, instead of this being the home page, we're going to set the devgov gigs board to the home page, which is devgovgigs.near slash widget slash ideas. And so all we have to do for that is we're going to go to the default and we have to change this out and then save that. Um, so if we go, you can still see it's still deploying right now. So it's going to take a little a second. Um, but um, in the meantime, what I did is I, I went to the domain provider, the place where I got the domain from, and I set up an A record of 77, 76, 76, 21, 21 and the C name. Um, record www.cname.vercel-dns.com. And now, so when I go into the settings, when it's ready, I can just put a, a, dom a domain directly there. You can just see it automatically deploy and me configure that. So let's wait for it to deploy and I'll be back in just a second. Yeah, and I just want to emphasize the importance and what this means for you know development life cycle. So instead of me developing this custom component, I can just reference everything that's existing. And there are new components that are built every day, not just for the near blockchain, but just general front end components and for other blockchains as well. And so rather than me having someone fork my front end, uh, build that front end, make a PR, I can just have them build their own independent widget and then reference that. And so uh, essentially, like 
anyone who is a DAP who wants to crowdsource their development and make it all open source and even have developers do this directly in their web browser and not install a bunch of dependencies. Um, like this is essentially the Web3 repl the new way for developers to interact uh, with their code on the blockchain, but also with just setting up their developer environment. And you can see my project just deployed here. It's pretty quick. And this is all data that's on the social.near contract. So everything is stored there and it's just indexing that. These are all components that are made available. I'm gonna configure a custom domain that I told you how I did that before. All you gotta do is go to domains and let's go to neargov.dev. You click enter, you click add, it's going to be there. Um, it's going to take a little while for the SSL uh, certification to come about. But you can see right here, I have a custom domain for my gateway. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the repo. Um, so let's go to my GitHub. And then it's the boss four. Um, like I said, I'm not going to whip out the IDE. I'm just going to go to source. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to widgets. I'm going to click the edit button. And then the default, let's change this to dev gov gigs. And then let's change this to ideas. And then I'm going to commit directly right there to change homepage. I can also edit the nav bar, like I was saying, uh, have it reference other widgets and then change the complete flow. I can add dependencies to the VM. But as you see here, um, let's go back to the main. You can see that this indicates that it's still deploying. So we're going to wait for that to deploy. And so it deployed right now with that change. Um, this is a branch. Let me actually look at here. So near gov.dev, it's a custom gateway. And you can see the home page immediately is the developer governance gigs board. And so this is just one example of how to do it. Um, just some insight on the roadmap. They are making it so you can import this as a React component into your DAP, but actually running your own gateway has way more customization. And they're also making you know stylized uh, components, kind of like storybooks. They're doing things like SaaS off and meta transactions, so you can easily have people make near wallets and pay for transactions on behalf of the users. There's things like Keypom with trial accounts, so people can make widgets. Uh, without having a password. So all this uh, makes it very easy for developers to start developing right away. And if you're building a multi-chain gateway where you need to store the code on there and them to make a wallet, it completely eliminates that onboarding hurdle um, just for some foresight on the roadmap there. But hopefully this taught you a lot. And if you have any questions, just reach out.